Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about the AMD drivers. With so many blaming the drivers for the issues that they are having within their system, I figured I would go through and actually make a video to kind of help you understand how to troubleshoot issues within your system. So what I have discovered over the past few weeks with the new AMD 2020 drivers is it's not a driver issue it's more of a Windows issue so let's start off with um, your checklist here and I have this I'll have links to the site in the description so that you can see all this copy the links over and, and actually open up each page that you need to but some common fixes is updating windows update your drivers now if you're still having problems you would DDU them reinstall them now say you're still having issues alright you want to roll all AMD drivers out of your system. If you're on an AMD motherboard with AMD CPU, to remove all chipsets, go into safe mode, and just remove everything and start fresh. This is going to help you a lot along the ways. Whenever you're reinstalling the drivers, you want to see how the video, car, or video driver is working, if it's causing the issue or not. So don't install your chips at first. Do your AMD video drivers, open a game, and see if you're stable. It doesn't matter if you have lower performance at this point in time because right now you're just testing the drivers. Now, in the past in my group, I have never really condoned Googling stuff, but I'm going to show you if you go AMD see I already have it boom boom Navi if you, anything else 19 12 1 is your stable go to testing driver if you're having problems with 2020 and cannot work around it my fail safe driver has always been um, 19.5.1 this is my fail safe. And as you see, you can pull up older drivers. And use them. Instead of the newer stuff. So let's go into how AMD does their drivers. 19 is the year. 5 is the month. 1 is the re release. So it's the first release, second release. And if you see 3 and 4... Those are hot fixes normally, and they normally just do one and two, but right now they're trying to fix issues as well, so you'll see more. So now you've got your drivers cleanly installed, you're still having problems. So your next thing would be to check is just to make sure that Windows is in UFEI mode over legacy. And I have a link on how to check this on the page. And if it is in legacy mode, it could be creating the issue with the newer drivers. So you've been through all the drivers and you're still having problems. So now we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the card itself. You're going to open up GPU-Z. That'll be linked into on the website as well for where to download it from and everything else. And... Um, Furmark as well is what I'm using. You don't have to use Furmark, but it's a really good AMD GPU stress test. Go here, Sensors tab, hit Log to File, save somewhere where you can find it. You see I got it here on the desktop. Well, now you're going to open up Furmark, set your resolution, hit GPU stress test, and go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back in about 10 or 15 minutes 
and we'll open up and take a look at the log file. Okay, so we'll close, close, and bring this over here. Now, in order to use or look at the log file correctly, you're going to have to open with Notepad Plus. That link is also in the website's page for where to download it. Uh, we're going to scroll up to the top here. You see, you got GPU clock, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU temperature hotspot and so on across the board. Now, the disclaimer here is I'm fully water-cooled and I have gone through and I have found every hotspot and removed them. So if you notice, as I'm scrolling down, temperatures pretty much remain the same all the way down. But now let's say... this was running hot. You're going to look at your clock. You're going to look at your memory. You're going to look at all your temperatures. And you're going to be like, oh wait, I was running 44 right here. I wonder why it was so hot. Where was my clock at? Oh wow, clock's kind of low. Hmm. Memory's kind of low. And that's going to tell you pretty much that you're having thermal issues that need to be addressed, need to be fixed. So now we've discussed, gone through how to basically troubleshoot if it's a driver issue or if it's a heat issue or a Windows issue. Let's go into actual settings. Okay. On the new interface, you got your gaming. And it's going to bring up what games you have installed. And you're going to have your tuning. Under here, under the settings, graphics still if you're having any kind of problems at all disable all of it enhance sync image sharpening boost chill anti-lag go under advanced check your settings there disable all the things see if you're still having the problems Now, unless the driver is a game-ready driver for your GPU, you do not need to update. And I'm going to repeat this. Unless it is a game-ready driver that you need for a game, you do not need to update AMD drivers at all. So, everything's disabled, everything's working fine. Now, you want to use image sharpening. You turn it on. Go play your game for a little bit. Maybe give it a day, two days. See if it's stable. If it is, then you know that that particular feature is working fine. Let's say you want to throw in Radeon Boost, right? You go back in play your game and it starts crashing come back disable image sharpening and see if your game is still stable if it's not stable then you disable and you know not to use it for right now because there's still some bugs there same thing with chill and same with th thing with anti-lag 
And whenever I'm running mine, I normally have the image sharpening on and I normally have the boost on. Um, I have the enhanced sync off. Um, here, application settings, there's another one AMD optimized on tessellation. You want to make sure that's there. Um, if you have any major issues, you might want to try to reset your shader cache. Sometimes that will work for tr um, troubleshooting basic pro issues, things like that. So let's go over here to the performance tab. I'm going to go under tuning. And you want to play with your tuning settings. Overclock. I know mine will do that on the new drivers. It normally goes higher, but I know it'll do that on the newer drivers. Come under here. Um, well, say you don't know where it is. 1630 is the normal. So we'll go here, and we're going to go um, 16, oops, 1680 and then test it and keep raising it up testing it do not leave do not mess with the voltage yet just test it see if it works and you want to find your highest stable overclock once you find your highest stable at this voltage in the last p state now down here you want to go 11.75 and then test. Then 11.50 test. What will happen is whenever it becomes unstable, your drivers will crash. You might have to reset your system. You might have some issues. But say 11.50, it crashed on me. I would bump it back up to say 1160 test and if it works there at 1160 then that would be the best undervolt I can get at that clock. Now say you want to run a lower clock, you can. On Navi it seems to be boost clocking and you might get a black screen. Um, don't panic. Give it a couple of minutes, give it 10 minutes. If it does not come back, then shut down. But normally, whenever you crash the drivers, they will it will come back and hard shutdowns on Windows will mess more stuff up. So, we've established the base. 11, 1740, 1200. I'm going to come down here to memory. Click advanced. I already know by going in increments of 10 how far my GPU will go on memory overclocking. Navi is not very far on it, but bump it up. You got 19 or 945, go 950. Test it, see if it works. Under power tuning, give yourself a plus 50. Now it's going to give you extra voltage if you need it, if this is set too low. Apply, back, and fur mark. You can use fur mark. You can use um, some kind of GPU benchmark. And basically all you're doing here is you're looking for a couple of different factors. You're looking to see if the drivers crash. You should be monitoring temperatures at the same time to make sure that you're not getting up into the upper 80s. If you are, then you have to make other adjustments to your system. I don't have a fan on my GPU but whenever I'm doing overclocking I will come in and I will set states 
So you go like this, bring it up, and the last one. So now, as it goes, the card gets warmer, that fan curve gets harder, and I'm able to determine where it stops at by noise level. I'm a headset user, so in most cases, I don't mind having that much of a fan curve on my system because I don't hear it anyways. If you do mind, what you want to do is you want to have your clocks to match your fan curves. And if you adjust fan curves and you run into stability issues, you know not to use it at that point. And wait until they update a fix for it. But you see? Boom. Go in here. You can fine tune what temperature you want it, what state you want, everything else. Now, I've seen Fabio and I've seen Brian do very good videos on AMD drivers. And this was just a quick overview on how to troubleshoot major issues and determine whether it is a driver or not a driver. And then also show you how to basically find that perfect stable driver for Navi users I would say 1912.1 should be your fail safe driver if you're having tons of issues and you can't find a solution going there might help you if you go there and it doesn't help you you may have to format your system you may have to go in there and edit the registry and remove all the AMD stuff whenever you're doing the driver removals. Um, remove all the registry entries and take it from there. Now, the last thing I'm going to say is you've gone through everything. Whenever you go to the group asking for help, this information is key to helping you. It tells us what card you have, what driver version you have, your memory, your memory timings, um, CPU, any other hardware in the system, Windows 10, up to date. You give us that information and then a brief description of how much of this video you have gone through for troubleshooting and you're still having issues we'll help you figure it out thanks for watching guys like and subscribe or just keep scrolling and as always we'll see you in the group